Well, good morning and welcome to our daily devotional on this Wednesday. Happy to have you with me. Glad to be with you. Um, we're continuing our talk here in Proverbs about some of the things in the book of Proverbs for righteous living, some of the things that King Solomon had written to us. And the one I want to look at this morning is Proverbs chapter uh, 4. And we're going to look at verse 24. The scripture says, put away perversity from your mouth, keep corrupt talk far from your lips. <clears throat> now this <clears throat> verse probably covers a wide gamut of things. It's anything that comes out of your mouth that is corrupt, whether it be a lie, whether it be a gossip, whether it be slander. Um, but specifically this morning, I want to talk about something that I see a trend in in the last couple of years, and that is that Christians think it's okay to use uh, curse words. And 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 specifically, um, the example or the things, the justifications that are made to do so. For instance, someone will say, well, it's just a made-up word. Um, it's not, you know, there's nothing in the Bible that, that says we can't use this specific word because it's, you know, we made it up. So um, there's nothing wrong with using those words. And I, and I just want to point this out. The scripture says that we are ambassadors for Christ. And an ambassador means that you go to a foreign land and you represent someone while you're at that foreign land. And we are here in a foreign land as Christians representing Christ. <clears throat> so we, re we are actually his speakers. We, when people look at us, they should see him. That's the representation. We represent everything that Christ stands for. Um, and so people are watching and, and, and unfortunately... Um, and this is an extra weight or an extra burden, but we have two responsibilities as Christians. One, we are to um, live up to what Christ says a Christian is, and that's you know everything that we're given in, in our instruction book, our Bible. Uh, but two is that we also have to live up to what other people think a Christian is, and that's tough sometimes, but, but we have to draw people to Christ. So you're either drawing them in <clears throat> or you're pushing them away. So when you as a Christian, say that I serve Christ. And then, you know, from the same uh, breath or the same mouth or the same sentence, you use curse words. Uh, <clears throat> people don't see it that way. Um, it is just not uh, something that draws people in when we use words that are vulgar uh, or we use profanity. Uh, people don't look at us and consider us to be Christians. There are a lot of other things that fall in that gamut. There are things that we could do um, that are not necessarily against God's law, but we don't do them because we don't want to push people away from Christ. But this specifically, I mean, the scripture specifically says, put away perversity from your mouth and keep corrupt talk from your lips. I want to turn over to uh, the book of 1 Corinthians. I want to show you how Paul felt about the issue of, uh, you know, there are things that you think you could do that are right, but you wouldn't do them because you don't want to shed a bad light on the gospel. Uh, Paul says in 1 Corinthians chapter 9, um, he says, uh, starting in verse 19, Though I am free and belong to no man, I make myself a slave to everyone to win as many as possible. To the Jews, I become like a Jew to win the Jews. To those under the law, I become like one under the law, though I myself am not under the law, so as to win those under the law. To those not having the law, I become like one not having the law, though I am not free from God's law, but I'm under Christ's law, so as to win those not having the law. To the weak, I become weak. To win the weak, I have become all things to all men, so that by all possible means I might save some, and I do all this for the sake of the gospel. So if for no other reason, if you don't think it's wrong to use perverse words or, or it's corrupt speech coming out of your mouth for no other reason, because people don't see Christians as doing that, then Paul says, I will do that. I will refrain from, from speaking those kind of words simply because it will bring somebody to the gospel. So that's what I want to put out there this morning. I do see a rash of people who I've known, uh, who are Christians, who feel it's okay to use these words, and I just don't see that um, from the scriptures or from the intent of the words that Paul used. So I hope this is helpful this morning. I hope you have a great day, and we'll see you tomorrow.